A reminder worth repeating as we get closer to Valentine's Day, be careful with those Mylar balloons. There are some of the tweets APS sent out around this time last year. After somebody's balloon uh, broke loose, hit a power line, and caused an outage near 67th Avenue and Pinnacle Peak, 131 customers lost their electricity before it was finally restored. And APS says this happens actually more than you think. In 2018, the utility reported more than 63 outages thanks to Mylar balloons. The problem especially common this time of year with Valentine's Day and graduations just around the corner. So new this morning, a reminder how to be safe, showing Gibby what happens when you're not. Right? I mean, how, tell, me, tell me, have you seen this before? Hey, honey, I got these for you. Oh! oh! Yeah, that's, that's not a good thing. You don't want those to get loose because just as recently as the open, guys, one of these balloons got away, it, it had a power outage of close to 14,000 people without power. Now, that is a problem when it comes to these Mylar balloons because, uh, believe me, you don't want outages, especially at a time when you need it the most, summertime. It starts now, Valentine's right around, a couple of days away. You have uh, spring graduation. Troy, uh, these are a big problem. These are a huge problem. And just in 2019 alone, uh, we had 83 outages uh, involving about 63,000 customers uh, due to them getting in the power lines and shorting out the circuits. All right, we're going to show you what it does because I don't think people have an idea. You look at it, you say, oh, my balloon got away from me. Oh, there it goes. But there is a big problem with it. Absolutely. Uh, as far as them being an electrical circuit, uh, they are metallic and they will, as you can see, short out those lines. I mean, it goes by that fast. I mean, that's how fast, it, and people don't understand when people do something like this, what do they need to do? You don't want to be standing underneath these power lines when one of these balloons get in it as well. Absolutely not. Electricity travels at 186,000 miles a second. That's seven and a half times around the world in one second. So you can't just run away. You can't just touch it. It's too late. So if you do see that, uh, you can call 911. You can call us. Don't worry about if it's in the territory or not of APS. Uh, we have maps and things like that. We can locate the people. Get a good address, a good location for us to come uh, look for that. And then also, don't stay underneath the power lines. Keep at least 100 feet away and keep others away. Uh, it's very dangerous. Uh, they may look uh, fine at the moment, but they could short circuit and bring the lines down. Yeah, right now we're going to connect these the, the, the power here to the top and bottom again, and we're going to show you uh, the effects of this, because if you get near, let's say you try chasing the balloon or you try to come in because, oh, it's a low power line, I can grab it. It shows you the damage that one of these can have because you can clearly see what it does if people try to touch these power lines. Absolutely. Uh, we have a mannequin here set up with hot dogs and grapefruit to simulate a uh, human body. And uh, if you were to touch it, this is what happens to you. As you can see, that flame, that fire, that smoke, uh, that's obviously not going to be good. It's 50% uh, of all accidents involving electrical in uh, injuries are catastrophic, meaning you're going to lose a life or a limb. See, guys, so whether these are cute to have and they're going to love you for it, they recommend that if you're going to have these, tie them up, secure them, uh, use them inside because once you get them loose outdoors, I mean, you <laughs> see the problem. You saw how fast that Ugh. thing went up. Very dangerous. And, you know, we see it all the time, right? People release, releasing balloons into the sky and you mm -hmm. see the problems they can really cause. But sometimes unintentionally. I was just telling Scott that that happened to me once on the way from Party City to Nate's birthday party and the hatch opened <laughs> in the back made it. <laughs> and it was slow motion and I saw these balloons going and going and there was nothing I could do. So if you had a power outage, uh, uh, her uh, phone number is 6 <laughs> April circa, I think it was 2016. I apologize. <laughs> It was not on purpose. Gibby, go with the heart filled with Ooh. chocolate instead. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Gibby. Yes, indeed. All right.